Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today's video, we're going to be having a little look at something that we are having to do to uh, combat all this bad weather that we're getting. Um, usually this time of the year, things was normal and everything was going as it should. Uh, we'd have 25, 30 cows calved uh, and we'd have calves outside. We could have eaten up to 15, 20 of the calves outside at this stage. Um, usually let them out close to the yard here, keep an eye on them and then we can move them to the fields a little bit further away uh, and always works out very well. But weather this year has just put a stop to that. There isn't a hope of us getting calves out at the minute. Uh, for one, well we have grass, we have plenty of grass. We have grass that we kept from last autumn, especially for this reason. So. The grass is there and ready to go. The problem is the ground conditions aren't. Uh, all the rain we're getting, if we put cows out, they're just gonna cut the life out of the ground and we'll end up with reseeding job, lots of weeds, uh, it'll, it'll just turn into a mess. The other problem is to putting calves out in that wet, cold weather, you're only asking for trouble. You'll end up, you'll be taking the half of the bag in with chills, pneumonia, you know, it just causes all different issues. Uh, so, yeah. So what are we gonna do? We've got, we're like 25 cows calved um, at the minute. We're all inside still. They're gonna be staying inside for at least the next week to 10 days. So we're gonna have to do something to try and alleviate some of the pressure on the calving shed because it is almost full. Um, some of the cows that we have in the other shed, which are later due to calve, have started to calve and they're piling over into the cow shed as well. So what we're doing is, we've done this about four years ago, three or four years ago. We have a meal shed across the way. There's not very much left in it. There's only, I'd say, maybe about 15 tonne of uh, our treated wheat left in it. We're gonna empty that out. We're gonna set up uh, a round feeder at the front of it. We have a cube with a, an I, like an IBC cube with a, a, a drinker built onto it. And we'll put the drinker in the ICB cube then and the, the, the round feeder at the front of it. And we should, uh, we should be able to put maybe eight, nine cows and calves in there. And they're gonna to have to stay there for the next week or so. So what I'm doing at the minute, I'm just, I'll get a wee bit of footage now. Uh, I'm just moving the, the feed from one shed just into the other. Uh, luckily enough, the other shed, there's a bit of space in it uh, alongside some bales of hay. And uh, we just about have enough space to, to pop the, the wheat in there. <coughs> so the plan is today, gonna get this done. I've the, the IBC cube is up there. It's gonna get washed out. And we'll try and get everything ready now today uh, so that we can get them moved in there in the morning. Uh, so we get this bedded and all, get the, the round feeder into place, just get everything ready. Uh, we had another three calves born, one last night and two more this morning. So as if the pressure wasn't already on, I said just that's it, <laughs> we're, we're full. So yeah, at least it'll help to alleviate uh, some of the pressure for a while. Once the cows don't all of a sudden calve five of them in the one day, which could happen and has happened before, uh, and then we're really in in the shits. So, anyway, uh, right, we'll get a wee bit of footage of moving this meal across and uh, I'll show you all the clips then just as we go through the process and show you what we're doing.
All right, so we have the shed all cleared out, which isn't too bad. Last wee bit just along the walls, I scrap out with the shovel, but it's not too bad. There might be a little wee bit there, right tight against the wall, but we leave that for the cows. I remember a few years ago when the cows were last in here, they were quite happy with it, uh, and they, they hoovered up whatever was there. Also, if we have the stuff here again, the wall behind me, they'll also hoover that off once they, they cop on to the snail. Uh, but you might have noticed, when we were taking out some of the, the stuff on video, it uh, was heating a little bit. And the reason for that is the back bit here, with all the rain that's fallen at the minute, uh, the wall, the wall itself is backfilled on the other side. So the field is like maybe, could be four, three, four foot up on it. So there's a bit of moisture comes through the wall when it rains a lot, like it has been and gets onto the wheat and transfers off the walls. You can see where the wheat was up the top on this side. Uh, there's dampness up there, yet where it was taken away on this side here, it's all started to dry out. So yeah, it'll all dry out now once the, once the wheat is gone. But you can see even here, it joint in the wall. There's a little bit of dampness coming through there even still. So yeah, all the rain and all the wet has shown up little issues that we well we really haven't been issues in the past. So yeah.
all right so it's a couple of days later and at this stage we're well acclimatized in to the new bedded area um having to do a good bit of bedding now i'm not bedding up here around the front where the, the water is and where they're feeding because uh, a lot of traffic there and yeah i'm just bedding the really from the about 10 foot back from the feeder uh, it's getting well bedded uh, it's going through I'm going to see it there now. I think you should be able to see it. Uh, we're going through about roughly about 10 small square bales uh, every two days at the minute. Now it, might, it may reduce down once we get a little bit of a, a, a couple of layers of bedding in there and there's a bit more soakage. Uh, we should reduce down, I'd say, to 10 every three days maybe. Well, that's what I'm hoping about anyway. But yeah, look, at it. it's working well and it has alleviated the pressure for the cow's, cow's calf. And drink is working well. Uh, we've had to fit it a couple of times. Uh, since the since they've went in but yeah no real issue with that and the side is then just popping it in the feeder every day and putting some meal on it that the cows are getting just a wee bit of uh, a wee bit of feed but the calves are loving it the cows are actually loving it too uh, but the downside is just the cost of the, all the extra bedding which isn't cheap this year and even though we have got some bedding we haven't a lot. Well, we have we have plenty to do us, but this year's going to eat a lot of it up. Uh, like if we can throw an extra ten bales that we didn't intend to use uh, every two days, that fairly eats into your your supplies. So anyway, but yeah, working well. Cows are doing well in there. They love it. Uh, cows are loving it, and uh, yeah, it has alleviated the pressure. Uh, we go over to the cow the, ca the, the cow shed because. We have been busy calving, uh, especially to in the last day or so, and we'll have a quick look at that. All right, so calving has been busy uh, over the last couple of days. Uh, we have, firstly, an update on the calf that was in here with the, ca the calf jacket on him, uh, who had the little heart condition. He has made a full recovery and has been moved down and creeping. The jacket is off him, so that is great. Um, we had another cow then born, had a calf born on Thursday. This one here on Friday night, quite late, around 10 o'clock Friday night. Um, and the whole calf is a little bit off today. I uh, don't really know why uh, he has milk in him, but just wasn't himself. So we put a calf jacket on him and uh, yeah, we'll just have to keep an eye on him over the next day or so. Uh, but yeah that is just a little bit of a worry with him but we'll keep an eye on him over the next day or so uh he's just having a bit of a sleep in there he's a wee bit slow to walk and a bit weak of himself walking but had milk has milk in him as i say and uh, everything else seems pretty normal uh, so that was that uh we have another heifer here who has literally just started calving uh so you can see a leg starting to come out there uh and she literally broke a water bag uh, about 15 minutes ago, so she, this is happening pretty quick um, for a heifer. Um, I only see one leg though, so we may have to investigate that. Uh, and in the back, an hour ago, uh, that calf was born, uh, who's up and running around already, and it looks ready to, to get some milk, hopefully. Um, but yeah, so we're quite busy at the minute. Um, I'll see if I could sneak in the wheel and see is there a second foot here with this girl. She may let me and she may not. Or I may just leave her for a while. She's not. She's there for a half foot, she certainly is not calving long enough. So I'll see. She doesn't look to be that awfully big, well opened up at behind yet, so I might just leave her for leave her for half an hour or forty minutes and uh, see what's happening then and come back. So yeah, I'll have a little update uh, shortly. All right, so we've progressed on a little bit. We left the cow for about 45 minutes, I suppose, and uh, just kept an eye on her. Actually, we just left the yard and to give her no annoyance whatsoever. Keep an eye on the camera. And eventually you could see she pushed a couple of feet out, which uh, was then kind of a, an indication that she was getting ready to, she was pushing hard. She was getting ready to, to calve or at the point where she was going to maybe try and calf, but there was no progress, so. What we done was, uh, we come up and we just surveyed the situation. Uh, calf's legs look quite big, so we put her in, handled her, and had to give her a little help out to get the calf out. And uh, there he is, he's an absolute another monster. So, yeah, he hasn't gotten up yet. She's been licking him over the last half an hour or so since he, she has calved. Um, and she's, she, 
she herself is still a bit, wee bit sick. Uh, you see she is laid down right in front of him where she can keep a tight eye on him. But uh, yeah, he's a lovely, lovely calf. Um, so yeah, all so far so good. Uh, I see the other calf in the back uh, that was born a couple of hours ago now. Um, he's there drinking away with his mother. So that's all going very well in there too. So uh, hopefully none of the ones here, everything on this first pen still has to calve but all looks looks okay for tonight and the other ones all across the way which are a wee bit later calving all looks okay there too so not not too bad uh, we've got a few in creeping now as well just to give a quick look uh, apart from the eight we have outside with nine calves there's also another eight here creeping uh, that is calves creeping in the back and seven more cows here that is creeping uh, so their calves is then able to creep in and out as well. So they're they're only creeping a couple of days. So they're just kind of acclimatizing to it all. Um, so there is a cow and calf in the back, which should be able to be tagged tomorrow, and she could win there creeping as well. Um, and we leave we leave Everton here, I suppose, for a day or so, another few days. Uh, the red one in the back could be tagged, and what we'll do is the next move will be to take the. Uh, these ones here now, as they're uh, less and less in that pen, we'll be able to get a few creeping in there too. So, uh, but we do imagine that it should start to settle down a little bit, um, calving wise, and be a wee bit more spread out, hopefully. So, yeah, all going well. So, we've had a good day today, it's Easter Sunday, uh, great day weather wise, great drying wind, uh, lots of sunshine. Um, so I'm hoping to tomorrow get some of the, the slurry out on the silage ground. Hopefully, we we'll see what way weather is tomorrow. Um, clock is ticking on that now at this point. We like to get our silage cut usually last week in May, first week in June, depending on weather and everything else. So, yeah, it needs to really be done uh, over the next uh, couple of days. Uh, get that done and get the, the fertiliser out on then, maybe a bit later in the week. And, uh, yeah, so clock is ticking on all that. So we'll see what the weather's like tomorrow. Um, and if there is a bit of slurrying and stuff going on, of course, I'll take some footage of it, get it up later in the week. So that's it. I hope you all have a good Easter weekend, enjoying the, the long weekend, the bank holiday uh, until later in the week. Have a good uh, few days and we'll see you then.